Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm excited to share a brand new workflow for generating stunning film textures. We'll be using a combination of the Film Portrait LoRa model and Flux.1.dev. Point One Dot Dev. Now, let's talk about Film Portrait. It's a LoRa model fine-tuned on Flux.1.dev, Point One Dot Dev, designed specifically to enhance that cinematic film texture in your images. Think of the subdued color palette seen in old films, rich, timeless, and incredible. Here's a quick comparison. On the left is the result using Flex.1.dev alone, and on the right, we have the same image with the film portrait Laura applied. Notice how much richer and more cinematic. The image becomes, the texture, the tone, it's all evocative of classic film photography. Take a look at this image, it might be Tokyo City in Japan. Notice how it looks unrealistic, and then more realistic after adjustments. You can see the improved results here. To get the most out of this model, use specific trigger words like film photos, film grain, and reversal film photography. These will help generate images with the perfect film aesthetic you're aiming for. Now let's walk through the workflow. First, open Comfy UI and load the workflow. In group 1, use the Flux model to generate AI images, and apply the Film Portrait LoRa model in the clip text encoder. We've already added trigger words like film photos, film grain, and reversal film photography. You must use one of these words in the clip text encoder if you want to achieve the film aesthetic. In group 2, we add up scaling to enhance the resolution and details of your image. I've bypassed this for now, but you can enable it by right-clicking on bypass and disabling it the same way. I recommend using 30 steps instead of the default 20 when working with the LoRa model. The extra steps give the model more room to refine the image and enhance finer details, especially with LoRa. Now, let's run the workflow. I've used the trigger words, film photos, film grain, and reversal film photography. Here's my prompt, a beautiful 18-year-old woman with ginger hair, medium waves, striking aqua eyes, soft wrinkles, bold eyebrows, and glasses for a nerdy appearance. She's in a stylish outfit, captured in an upper body shot. She's on a rooftop overlooking a city skyline during sunset, with warm golden hues. A slight breeze moves her hair, and the distant glow of city lights begins to come alive. Just copy and paste the same prompt, run it, and here's the final result. As you can see, the film portrait Laura model, has done an incredible job enhancing the film texture. Now let's try it with 20 steps to see if there's any difference. Running the workflow with 20 steps may give you better results in some cases. Let's try another prompt, using 30 steps this time with the LoRa model. Make sure the words are in the prompt. To download the Film Portrait LoRa model, go to the Films and Files section. Look at the amazing result it has produced. It enhances the film textures perfectly. Now let's check the upscaled image. Here's how you upscale the image. Go to the File and Version tab. Download the FilmPhotos.ShapeTensors file and save it in the LoRa config folder in Comfy UI. Look at the textures and details after upscaling. Notice how the rain and small details stand out. Now, let's try another prompt. I've already set it up and we'll run it to see the results. All right, now that we've generated our initial image, it's time to take things a step further with upscaling. Upscaling is crucial, especially if you want to enhance the resolution and clarity of AI-generated images. Look at how well the image was generated, adding a film texture that creates a realistic environment. Using the film portrait LoRa, let's test a city street in Tokyo, Japan. Look at this image closely. It starts looking realistic right from the initial steps. Let's see how upscaling enhances it further. Here's the result after upscaling. Zoom in closely, and you might notice that some faces look a bit blurry. But don't worry, I have a solution for that, which we'll discuss in another video. That's all for today, folks. Make sure to subscribe for more tips on using AI tools like this one to enhance your creative projects. If you like if this video is useful, then subscribe to our channel and like this video and we will see you in next video. Thank